What happened to the University of Alabama's live elephant mascot? That question was submitted as part of Ask Alabama, and it's a fair point. LSU has a live tiger, Auburn has a live eagle, I'm sure Tennessee has at least a few live volunteers, but for as big as the University of Alabama is, the school doesn't have a live elephant. At least not anymore. So as the question pointed out, Alabama did at one point have a live elephant. Crimson Tide players had earned the nickname the Red Elephant sometime in the late 1920s, early 1930s. There are competing stories as to which. So in the 1940s, the school secured a live elephant that was housed on campus named Alamite. Alamite would take part in parades, and for the homecoming game, the queen would ride into the stadium on the elephant's head. But while it was an exciting spectacle for fans, it was also crazy expensive to house a live elephant on campus. So sometime in the mid-1950s, the school decided to give up on housing an elephant and just run elephants for big events. While this was a cheaper solution, it wasn't necessarily an easy one. First, you still had the cost of rentals, and having an elephant trample through the campus was its own headache. And I don't know if you've ever tried to rent an elephant, but it can be tricky, doubly so in the pre-Google days. It's not like you can just call the elephant store and put in a reservation. Somebody had to track down nearby traveling circuses and negotiate a cost to borrow and transport the elephants for a day. But it was the only solution they had, so for decades, rental elephants were a regular part of big Alabama festivities. However, in the 1960s, a group of students decided to give a go at a costumed elephant mascot, but the early prototype had its problems. The costume included a giant heavy fiberglass head that was difficult to see out of. A student named Mel Espy took on the mantle of the first elephant mascot, but it was short-lived. The mask was a little bizarre, and most accounts say Bear Bryant hated it and ordered Mel to stay away from him during football games. So Mel had to navigate the field, barely able to see, while trying to avoid Coach Bryant and not knock into everyone. To make matters worse, most other mascots were still live animals. So during photo ops, Mel had gotten peed on by Tennessee's Hound Dog, kept terrifying away Mississippi's Bulldog, and even had part of his costume torn off by Houston's live cougar. And for all his trouble, after just a few years, Mel Espy was forced to hang up the elephant costume when it became clear this just wasn't going to work out. The school continued to use rental elephants off and on, but in the late 1970s, another student wanted to give the idea of a costume mascot another try. It was going to be difficult because the last costume was a flop, and again, Bear Bryant hated it, but he found the one man who could help him bring the mascot back. Now University of Alabama Administrator Mel Espy. The student and Espy teamed up to convince Coach Bryant to let them try again, and he eventually relented. The result? Big Al, the current mascot, made his debut in the 1979 Sugar Bowl. Now, live elephants were still used for a few more years, but the tradition largely disappeared after a guy got injured when he climbed into an elephant's enclosure in 1982. Today, every blue moon, someone might shell out the cost for a live elephant for a Big Bama event. And it's also been proposed in recent years that now that Alabama football is a machine that prints money, maybe they could get back into the live elephant game. But so far, no one has been able to justify the cost of the headache. So I wouldn't count on a return of Alamite anytime soon. But hopefully some Alabama fans will appreciate Big Al a little bit more now that they've learned that a man had to be attacked by a live cougar to help bring him to life. I'm Jonathan Soboleski for Reckon. If you like these videos, you can go to the ReckonByAL.com Facebook page where you can find a lot of videos and stories on history and news. And be sure to like the page before all our likes get used up. It helps us share these videos with even more people. Thanks.